Hi everyone, I'm here at the Bible reading. I hope you guys are having a good day. I thought I'd do a Bible reading for you guys today. I know it's been a long time. Um, so we're, today we're going to start with Mark chapter 3, verse 7 through verse 30. We're talking about crowds that follows Jesus. Jesus appoints the twelve, his twelve disciples. And Jesus accused by his family and by teachers of the law. Okay, so Mark's just now starting to tell basically the beginning of Jesus' gospel. Okay, so let's get started. Jesus withdrew with his disciples to the lake and a large crowd from Galilee followed. When they heard about all he was doing, many people came to him from Judea, Jerusalem, Idumea, and the regions across the Jordan and around Tyre and Sidon. Because of the crowd, he told his disciples to have a small boat ready for him to keep the people from crowding him, for he had healed many so that those with diseases were pushing forward to touch him. You know, like, like today, if a celebrity like came out in public, how people would swarm them, you know, and like, they'd probably get knocked down and stomp, stomp the one, you know, because everybody would just run up there. So Jesus wanted to go out in a boat and, and talk to them from there because there were so many of them. Okay, whenever the impure spirits saw him, they fell down before him and cried out, You are the Son of God. But he gave them strict orders not to tell others about him. Jesus went up on a mountainside and called to him those he wanted, and they came to him. He appointed twelve that they might be with him and that he might send them out to preach and to have authority to drive out demons. These are the twelve he appointed, Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. To them he gave the name Bonerges, I don't know if I said that right, probably not which means son of thunder, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon, the zealot, and Judas, Iscariot, the one who betrayed him. Then Jesus entered a house and again a crowd gathered so that he and his disciples were not even able to eat. When his family heard about this, they went to take charge of him, for they said, He is out of his mind. And the teachers of the law who came down from Jerusalem said, He is possessed by Beelzebul. Trying to say Jesus was possessed by the devil. By the prince of demons he is driving out demons. How does that make sense? How does that make sense? We go through this but every year all the time. Think about that. Why would Satan drive out his demons? They're on his side. That wouldn't happen. So Jesus called them over to him and began to speak to them in parables. You know, Jesus always spoke in parables to the people, except to his disciples. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. If a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan opposes himself and is divided, he cannot stand. His end has come. In fact, no one can enter a strong man's house without first tying him up 
Then he can plunder the strong man's house. Truly, I tell you, people can be forgiven all their sins and every slander they utter. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never be forgiven. They are guilty of an eternal sin. He said this because they were saying he has an impure spirit. They were blaspheming about Jesus, trying to say he was possessed by Satan, possessed by a demon. That's what it says. Demon, Satan, about, you know, saying, which was not true, of course. The demons will bow down to Jesus because they know he's the Son of God. You just heard that up when Jesus was there in front of the crowd. They were bowing down to him, saying, we know who you are. You are the Son of God. And look how many evil spirits he got out of people, as well as his disciples got out of people. Okay, so that's where we're stopping with Mark today. And now we are going to read Psalm 37, but only verses 1 through 11 today. And it is a Psalm of David. Do not fret because of those who are evil, or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither. Like green plants, they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will do this. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret, it leads only to evil. For those who are evil will be destroyed, but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. A little while and the wicked will be no more. Though you look for them, they will not be found. But the meek will inherit the land and enjoy peace and prosperity. All right, guys, and that was Psalm 1, or sorry, Psalm 37, verses 1 through 11. Beautiful, huh? Psalms of David are beautiful. I love all the Psalms. Psalms are a beautiful book, and I'll, there's a lot of them. Okay, so ending today's Bible reading is Proverbs chapter 10, verses 3 and 4. The Lord does not let the righteous go hungry, but he thrusts the craving of the wicked. Lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. All right, guys, that is our Bible reading for today. Um, I need to make a new prayer list, but um, please keep Sherman your prayers. He's hurting really bad in his shoulder. He's um, got a torn rotator cuff. He needs surgery. Um, we need to set up an appointment with the surgeon to get that done. Um, it's kind of hard because I gotta make it when my mom can go with me because I need somebody to help me to go with them because of my wheelchair so we gotta get that done I called his sports medicine doctor telling him because he said to let him know when he was ready and I called to let him know he was ready to get it set up but they've never contacted us so I'm about to call him again Monday um, please keep Cindy and Welsh in your prayers She's been sick. Jim Well, she's been sick. Um, please keep my mom in your prayers, Rhonda Karshner. She's 
just been, you know, hurting in her back and been extremely tired. She's had really bad heartburn and stuff, you know, ever since the radiation and that pill that she's on since she's had breast cancer. Um, her last test has shown that there's nothing there now. So um, thank you guys for praying for that. And please keep praying for her. She's got to take this pill for five years and it's making her very tired. Um, please pray for my niece, Abby Myers. She's pregnant. She's due at the end of next month or the beginning of April. Um, please pray for my dad and um, my sisters and my nieces and nephews, um, my nephew Cohen and my sister Nellie, sister Mindy, my nieces Kaylee and Kinsley, Abby, my nephews Jimmy, Toby, Dave, and Olson. Little Toby. They, um, my sister Shelly died so um, in January unexpectedly. And um, so uh, that was Cohen's mom. So please uh, keep them on your prayers. This, so this, because my brother died when he was a baby, so this makes the second child that dad has lost. So um, please keep them all in your prayers. This is really hard uh, for them. And um, please keep Karen Clary, Doug Clary, and um, Molly, and I think Cole Lowry, and um, their dad and um, Jack, Clary, and their families in your prayers um, where my cousin Tabitha passed away. I believe she was 34. Uh, she passed away from LAS. She suffered with it for a long time. And she passed away this month in February. It's like her and Shelly Shelly in January, Tabitha in February. Shelly was cremated, no funeral or service. Um, that's what I'm wanting to do for myself as well. And um, Tabitha, she had a funeral. Um, but Cole and Molly are her children. They're both still young. So please keep them in your prayers. Please keep my Aunt Dora Carper in your prayers. She's hurting right now. She kind of had a fall. Um, please keep Elizabeth Jeffries and Joyce Light in your prayers. Layla in your prayers. And I'm going to go make a prayer list. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus and God willing. We'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless. Did I take into one?